Hi everybody, time for on preview time for Saturday 21st of December, last meeting before Christmas and despite some of the stuff you might have seen on social media, that's how we want it to stay. None of this racing on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day like. Um, three bets of similar strength really and confidence, two at Ascot, one at Newcastle. We'll get the Newcastle one out of the way first even though it's the, the, the latest of them chronologically. It's in the 250. Now, despite stable form for James Hewitt being pretty wretched of late, I get the sense that Attila de Sivilla with just too big a price here based on that. Everybody's aware that the stable's quiet, but this is a good-looking horse, still only a five-year-old. He looked like he had the, the world at his feet last season. It was only at Sedgefield, but he really impressed in the paddock and in the race that day. He's had two tries over fences and hasn't lived up to expectations, but this is a much easier race. He's at the top of the weights. Brian Hughes is on again he retains some faith and perhaps he has just been working up his fitness in which case he looks like he could just absolutely outclass them in that 250 at Newcastle so we start with him because the stable doubts make it a less confident selection perhaps um, other two are at Ascot 11.50 we're dealing with little in the way of very solid form here but Florin Cadenza finished fourth on handicap debut and this I was just absolutely crying out for the trip from the family, he's a half-brother in fact, a regal flow, who won a Midlands National for Bob Buckler, indeed in these same colours. She's shown promise ever since she started out in bumpers, but looking an out-and-out -out plodder really. So she's up to three miles, we've seen the ground on Friday afternoon at Ascot looking particularly testing, in fact, they had to survive an inspection before racing. She will just keep galloping. And the horse who's likely to be favourite, trained by Paul Nichols, I like generally, but I sense he might be the type that will fall fall to pieces slightly a big weak thing that's probably a chaser in the making and had a hard enough race on handicap debut at Taunton when just touched off so flowing cadenza might have been that material actually in that 11.50 because the trip could make a huge difference and sticking at Ascot a couple of hours later Espoir de Guy almost picks himself must be one of the most the best handicapped chasing train in this shape really well at Chepstow first time out built on that promise in no uncertain terms at Exeter in a good race in fact both of them have been in good races Loads of pace to chase today. First flow is likely to be vying for favouritism with him. Will get taken on in front. And whilst he ran well behind Angel's Breath at Ascot most recently, there is just a chance that he sets things up for a horse that's ridden with a bit more patience. That could be Espoir de Guy. It's Venetia's time of year. She's absolutely flying. And her record at Ascot, as we know, in these handicap chases, bears the closest scrutiny. So they're the three. Attila de Sivilla at Newcastle, 250. Flowing Cadenza, 11.50 at Ascot. And then in the 150 at Ascot, Espoir de Guy. Very much a French theme to running through that. Let's hope Flowing Cadenza can get us off on the right foot at 11.50.